What's up? Jake Reed here. I thought it'd be fun to take you through what I take to a recording session when I'm not at my house. A lot of times when you get to a session, you have no idea what the music is going to be. Maybe you have an idea of what it's going to be like, but you don't know what it's going to be. Like you don't get sent stuff ahead of time sometimes. You kind of just got to bring everything. You got to be ready for anything, have all the options at your disposal. The email I got for this particular session just said, late 60s, early 70s, rock. Maybe Bonham, maybe Southern rock, like Leonard Skinner or something. Or maybe we're going more of like a Black Keys sort of modern throwback direction. Here's Josh right now. Hi, right, Josh. So Josh brings this case for all the snares. So instead of having like a million snare bags, it's just like they all just go right in there. And he's bringing me this Superphonic because I don't have one. We might be doing some Bonham type stuff. That's my knockoff Black Beauty, the pork pie. I love that thing. Yeah, it works. three bags of cymbals that I'm bringing. Cause you never know. Double kick pedal, tons of beaters, wood, old Ludwig, fluffy guys, felts, corgis and kayaks. So here's everything in the van. No way this would all fit in my car. We're lucky it's gonna fit in here. Sup, so if you're uh, enjoying this video, or even if you're not enjoying this video, please, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Up, dude. Six and a half Superphonic, aka the bottom snare. Because I don't have one, but they're amazing. That's my bottom snare. <laughs> it's a knockoff pork pie I got on eBay for like 150 bucks. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hammered bronze. Yep. And then I put up the deeper hammered bronze there. Camco kit. So for this session, they weren't sure if they wanted more of like a bottom sound or more of like a, you know, just standard 70s kit sound, whatever that is. <laughs> so I brought everything. Then we also brought this old Ludwig. 26 by 14? 14. Sick. <laughs> the Vistalite. And then... Concert Tom kit. Concert Tom kit. This is my stainless steel. Oh. Actually. I just threw this full head on the other day. Ooh, that'll sound good. Yeah. Try it now. Keep going. Do it again. Sweet. Yeah. Dang. Sick. That's cool. I'm gonna leave that there. If I just put a tiny bit of muffling on the batter side, mm -hmm. that'll sound good. Sweet. Awesome. Here's Sean's station. For all you bass nerds out there.
old Zildjian K Istanbul, hi-hats, Avidus 18 inch crash, 22 inch, 50s A, 20 inch A crash, 414s on toms, 57 on snare, Cole's 4038s on overheads, and not sure what that mono overhead is. What do you think, Sean? What would... Andrew, rocking dude. This is my suitcase full of percussion. <laughs> For percussion, this is normally what I end up bringing. Perfect. Lots of sounds. This can be fun. Shakers, castanets, gourd shakers that are broken. Clappers. Lots of tambourines, they all sound different. So just plenty of options. Um, sleigh bells, cause why not? Noise makers. <laughs> oh. Gaff tape, there's like a bunch of finger symbols down here. Yeah, more shakers. I love these wooden egg shakers. This is a shaker I made out of a scotch container. Rad. Uh, this bag, fiber slap, donkey jawbone. Wood blocks, ratchets, this uh, angle heart. That can be fun. Triangle, you know, like this. Frog. And then this is the bucket I use. The bricks, of course. Packing blanket. Lots of cowbells. This is like my metal bucket. Lots of metal sounds. All things metal. So metal, bro. Yeah. He, he's our drummer. We'll take care of him. Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I have the perfect mix dialed in.